So I'm gonna pose a question that you may be asking yourself right now. Why would I need or consider having a portable monitor? Well, I'll answer that letting you know how I actually use it. Me, I actually have two portable monitors, both 1080p. Uh, this is a 2K version, 16 inch, 120 hertz portable monitor that I got myself. This wasn't sent to me for review. I just want to share with you my experiences uh, with it and why I got it. But I find these portable monitors they do nothing but help me. First of all, you can connect these to your smartphone, like your iPhone, like your iPad Pro, maybe your computer. You can connect this to your Xbox, your PlayStation. You can connect this to an, an arcade stick that I'll show you in a little bit. Yeah, there are so many ways you can use this and they are so thin and light, you can just slide this into your book bag and you're ready to go. Again, I found so many uses of this that I've decided to get a third one, not because I want more, but because my kids are using the other ones. So I, daddy wants to get a 2K version with a little more bump and specs. They actually have a 4K version of this, but I just need the 2K because it's 16 inches. The image is just so sharp. Yeah, you're gonna see all of that. Well, let's get straight into the unboxing you can, so you can check this out. Uh, just to let you know that this is an 8-bit screen with IPS. So what does that mean? Well, the image looks gorgeous. I'm gonna say this right now on the description for this, it says it's HDR. I've tried several times. While it does have menu for HDR, it doesn't seem like it actually outputs HDR. So let me show you what you get inside of the box before we get to the, the monitor. First, of course, you have your instructions. So I'll go ahead, read this, check it out so you get so you can become very familiar with your with your monitor. You do get a power adapter for it as well, so you can plug this into the wall. Uh, you also get some much needed data cables as well. Just keep in mind when we do connect our iPad Pro or our smartphone, it the white cord that comes with it does not pass video through. So just these cables that come with the monitor actually pass video along for it up to 120 Hertz too. So that's pretty awesome. You're going to get two USB-C to USB-C cables, one for charging and one for video. And you're going to get an HDMI mini to an HDMI standard uh, to pass through HDMI video as well. When it comes to your actual monitor, you'll get a stand slash cover for it to protect the screen. And the cover doubles as a stand where you can use the cover to stand it up in different angles. Taking a closer look at the monitor, of course, this is an IPS screen, 16 inches diagonal. Uh, you have a three-sided thin bezel, one on the side, top, and also on the other side. Of course, the bottom is a little thicker. On the left, you have some rockers for selecting your menus, a headphone jack, and also your power and OK button. And on the other side, you have your ports, the two USB-C ports, of course, that pass video through it. And of course, your HD, your HDMI cord as well. And on the back, so on the back, you have two VESA mount series. So you can either connect this to an arm or whatever thing that you can have that will hold uh, VESA mounts. And you have two rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not grinding. All right, so let's power this on. Uh, we're gonna connect this to a couple of things today. I'm gonna show you on my iPad Pro. I'm gonna connect it to my computer, an arcade stick, and I'll also show you this connected to some other devices as well. So let me take my power source here and connect to the second one. There we go, I'm gonna take one of these and plug it in to the first. Now, one of the cool things about this is that it actually charges your device as well. So whatever power source that is feeding to the monitor, it'll use that power source to try charge whatever device that you have connected to it. So let's go ahead and connect my tablet and it'll pop up. Right. And kind of just to give you a comparison of what it looks like on camera, as far as image quality, as far as sharpness, it looks fantastic. I'm not really sure if you can tell right here, this is something that I've, it kind of makes me question the whole HDR effect uh, in general, because normally when you connect a device that's pushing out an HDR signal to a standard definition uh, uh, display, you normally get oversaturated colors. And I'm not sure if you see it, but that's what I'm seeing right, right here. Here's the normal colors, here's the, uh, the monitor, and the colors, while the image looks fantastic, they are a bit oversaturated. They're just kind of like really saturated and it seems like it doesn't know where to find the medium balance between the colors. But yeah, but this is, this is just one example. Of course, you can use this as a second screen or an extended screen for your tablet. This is just something that I found that I get with this as well. And don't forget, you can use this on your smartphone as well. So if you just need to use a bigger screen with your smartphone, you can do that. So let's get to our laptop. I'm gonna take my same USB cord and plug this into my laptop. Okay, so now that it's connected to my laptop, let me hold again, let me just bring the screen over here. It's it's my third display. Uh, let's see the, let's go ahead and bring up the, the display option. So resolution, 2K resolution, as far as the advanced display, we see that it's 120 Hertz, 60 Hertz, 120 Hertz. So that's there. Okay, now it does give me the option to actually activate, use HDR. 
you know, but, but when I see it, it doesn't look like it's HDR. It's, it's more of like a, like a faded color. It's not like, it doesn't look like it's actually taking advantage of it there. Again, it, where it makes me believe that it's not really a panel that actually supports HDR. When I show you later with the, the Xbox, it doesn't even recognize it as an HDR panel. So just keep that in mind. Again, I'm saying this, the panel still looks great. Let's go ahead and let's get into some gaming so I can show you that we are hitting 120 and this actually looks good. All right, as you can see, my laptop is hitting 120 frames per second. This does support 120 hertz. So let's actually play some gameplay and see if we're getting any tearing if that 120 holds up. All right, so as I'm running around, you can see that I'm probably, I'm averaging around 100 frames per second. That's not really a, an issue of the monitors. Of course, it's my laptop in the game. Um, but yeah, as I'm playing it, there's no kind of tearing whatsoever. I'm getting stuttering because of the hardware of my, I'm getting stuttering because of the hardware of my laptop, but it's not a fault of the actual lap of, of the monitor. Here we go. I'm, I'm hitting 120 frames per second, 128 frames per second in this part. Looking for a nice smooth spark where there's not a lot of heavy graphic processing, but yeah, this is definitely a smooth monitor. Nothing's breaking up, no screen tearing whatsoever. And it looks nice, 2K at 16 frames per second. I mean, yeah. Oh, I better drop down. While he's dropping down, let me show you the act, some of the options they have. So you have a picture menu here. We can control the brightness, contrast, black equalizer, also game mode. You have a color effect where you can manipulate the saturation, hue, the sharpness, display rotation, information about your display. You can reset everything. If you've kind of messed everything up, you can reset it back to default. Your Ultra HDR mode, again, it's there, but I'm, honestly, I'm not seeing it. Um, eye protection, 3D sound, and of, and of course, freezing support and other options as well. And you can select, you can adjust the temperature as well. You can manage the display position of your on-screen display and go back to picture. We'll press OK to get back out of there. All right, uh, let me show you uh, the gaming display for his little gaming arts arcade stick. I like to use it for that a lot. Uh, let's go to that. All right, so now since I'm connecting an HDMI device, I'll use my HDMI mini to HDMI. Now again, me personally, I love portable monitors, especially when it comes to gaming, just putting this wherever I want and just playing this on the go. Uh, I'll give you an example of this. And as you can see, this looks awesome. There's no delay, nice responsive time. Yeah, all right, so let me give you my, my final thoughts when it comes to the Uperfect 2K 120 hertz um, portable display, 16 inches. HDR, uh, I don't know. First of all, again, for my needs, I love these things. Again, I can use them for productivity on my laptop when editing video, having an additional screen. When I'm filming videos like this, instead of having the small monitor, I can use this, put, put this set aside and have an even bigger monitor, still give me a nice sharp picture with good colors at the same time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's 8-bit and not 10-bit. HDR is kind of wonky, but to tell you the truth, I'm not really, when I'm using these things, I'm not really engaging with HDR content. I'll save the HDR on my big screen TV when I'm playing like on my like, Xbox and things like that. If HDR is really your need, I don't know, but I got to tell you, the screen size and 2K, the image looks phenomenal. When I was playing Xbox games, it just looked good. I wasn't even thinking about, oh man, I miss HDR. It still look uh, good. Now check it out. You can see that it does do 1440p, 120 hertz, but when I try HDR, it just doesn't recognize the monitor as an HDR monitor. And especially, I think if you're trying to go on the go, I really don't think maybe HDR is top of mind. You just want the portable experience. So I think this really um, does it. Again, if you want a 4K version, they got a 4K version, so you can check that out. But again, I settled for the 2K version. I'm not trying to convince you on anything. I just, just want to let you know why I use these and why I find these so valuable. All right, guys, I really hope this video of the Uperfect 2K 120 Hertz 16 inch portable monitor helped you out. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own portable monitor. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. All right, I'll see you in another one. Take care, bye.